to explain some of the switches on the B100 Deluxe. Um, I asked Dave Friedman just some of the details about, um, you know, what each switch is doing, the frequencies, things like that. So just kind of from what he said, so the SAP switch on the back, which, you know, adds a lot more gain, kind of makes it squishier. He says that's pretty much from like an old Jose uh, modded Marshall. Um, a C45, which to me kind of sounds like it scoops it a little bit, adds a little brightness to it, makes it sound more like, I guess, a JC Main 100. What he says about that is uh, it's just a different overall overdrive voice. For the thump frequency, when you have the switch to the left, it's deeper. When you have it in the middle, more mids. And then to the right is more low mid. You know, it, it's kind of hard to hear the difference there um, unless you're using a lot of thump, which I don't really use um, that much just because I get a lot of bass from my cabinet and everything already. Um, this is the, you know, Marshall Greenback cabinet, uh, BV. So it's a bottom cab, a little more bass to it. Okay, and for the presence response switch on the front there, it's pretty much controlling the negative feedback in the amp when you flip that switch back and forth. I keep it in the middle, seems a little brighter that way. Um, crank it all the way up. And then uh, pretty much for the, the back, you have a structure switch. You can, um, you know, get lots of different levels of gain pretty much. So as you're going through that, I keep it all the way down. I think I just keep all switches on the back pretty much down. I don't really scoop the, you know, add extra uh, bass to the channels or anything like that. The C45 is fun to play with a lot of times. Um, the SAT switch for low volume, um, if you want a lot of saturation for shredding and all that without cranking your amp up too loud. But um, let me just kind of play through a little bit how I got it set up. I tend to crank the system volume all the way up. Sounds to me more like my Plexi over here, which I'm getting them pretty identical. So this is pretty much my favorite Friedman lately. I've been, I was playing the SS100, um, the new one a lot, but this one actually is sounding a little more classic, more like the mids that I'm, I'm liking out of my, my other Marshalls and all that. So let me just kind of play through a little bit of it here. <laughs> And what's amazing about it is how it cleans up when I roll the volume back. It's just like that kind of clicky, bright, marshally kind of sound. It's hard to explain, like, but when you roll off on a plexi, you still get your bright um, definition and everything. Let me show you that. <laughs> amazing how it cleans up. I mean, the, the brightness, you can get a straight up clean tone, like a one channel amp. So that's at about one on my Les Paul. That's on the B channel, so even more on the HB channel. set up is as close as I can get it to my plexi over here. So I keep these switches in the middle. This one as well. That just changes the channel. I keep this one on bright. Keep all the switches in the back kind of just disabled. So, uh, you know, you get the brightness. If I want to play metal and things like that, I'd probably play around with the thump, get a little more kind of depth, maybe uh, scoop it out a little bit. But you get, you know, the Marshall has a lot of brightness. I can keep it about halfway to get that really bright presence that like a Plexi has. I find that I have to turn these up a little more, but it's there, you know, it might even be overkill for lower volume stuff. Of course, when I crank the amp up, stage volume, it's gonna get a lot brighter. I can roll those back a bit. This one, really just changing the voice of the amp. 
still keep about the same, you know, gain and everything like that. Um, I tend to just keep everything in the middle um, and then the bright switch on to the right, far right there in the front. I'm really loving this amp a lot lately, you know, for really like a three channel Marshall really is what kind of the best of all worlds. I think if you want like a, a modded plexi sound um, with a great clean, of course, boosts, all kinds of other things it can do as well. And it can be a bedroom um, level amp if you mess with that sat switch, keep the volumes down and all that. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think.